So we're off to uh, the park now on our adventure. We've got a motor home, it's just going to be the two of us. And we've got a driver bringing us into the park. Uh, this is where we're going to be for the next three days on our wonderful adventure. Bob and Doug's wonderful adventure. <laughs> So we're just getting together here, just in advance of our trip. Here's our group. Going Hello. And Senior Six Go. Are you excited, Six Go? Yeah, me too. We are. Too much excited. Sending good energy. Yes, good energy. The best, the best, the best energy. Yes, the best energy. So well, we've driven down to Rancagua from Santiago. We've all gotten together here to meet up, and we're going to now drive into the national park here, which is the Reserva Nacional Rio Los Cipresos. In this area here, it's right at the foothills, right at the bottom of the Andes. So it's a very isolated area. There we hope to make contact. Don't use the white because Well, we're, we've just arrived at the park here now, and I think we have to go in and register. It's raining a little bit, so I'm hoping that that doesn't deter deter the uh, ETs from showing up. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, so you were mentioning that yeah. you've been with Six Do a few times. Yeah. Uh, and can you tell me where and what you've seen? Okay, I've been in many um, gatherings like this one, uh, going for campaments and campaments. I don't know what, what's the name. Camping. Like, camping, yeah. And um, we were doing a meditation. Was around year 2012, okay, 2012. And we went to Los Andes, and we were in a place pretty much like this one, open field, looking. Uh, towards um, west okay so pretty neat pretty clean skies uh, around eight o'clock uh, this the sky was the sky was pretty um, dark blue not yet uh, not yet uh, black and um, I uh, he was telling pretty nice story about uh, when he went to Ganymedes okay and the atmosphere was pretty um, special at this time and I was with a friend and we look to the sky it was nothing to see like totally clear and we look to the to the like to the sky and we get a, a light from nothing, from nothing was like this, like, but totally clear. It was like if you look at the star, but like if if you had like a volume that you turn up so and magnified. the light went like boom, like magnified the the light. It was totally clear, totally impressive. And could you see through it? You could see through this. It was almost like a lens or something. It was like if I point you with a like a lantern, lantern, lantern. Lantern. Was, mm -hmm. Yeah, like a with a light. And it was getting bigger and smaller. Bigger, bigger, small. No, like bigger, like. And it stopped. 
was very, very, totally nice. This is uh, Carlos Bayona. I live in Santiago, Chile. Okay, and why are you here today? Uh, I, I am here, I am supporting uh, some uh, crucial tasks in favor of mankind. Okay. We are not here for personal purposes, we are working in a group as a whole. And what do you expect to experience today? My expectations are to fulfill our goals of all our group of friends and also the offer of the guides, ET guides, that said that they would be supporting us in our group task. Are you part of the Rama group? Uh, yes. Yes. How long have you known Sixto for? Oh, many years, since 1979 when I was uh, at the school. And have you had many ET experiences, contact experiences? Not so many. I think they are not uh, the most important. The most important is that your personal development. Uh, you have seen that we have been suffering the <laughs> bad weather conditions. Anyway, we are not disappointed. Uh, we are facing these bad weather conditions. Uh, we will continue working in favor of getting better uh, weather. Good thinking. Attitude. Yes, an attitude. Perfect. Thank yes. you very much. Okay.